to this video this is lecture number 14 already lecture 13 are covered the supplementary problem of the books vector analysis by Emma Spigel and this books is very important for the physics honors and as well as the for the mathematics honors and also important for the IIT jam examination okay today we want to discuss about the problem supplementary problem 2.98 to 2.101 this is consist of the dot and cross product okay and the previous lectures are link are all given in the description box please go to this description box and can be seen the previous lecture or the total playlist of this vector analysis for supplementary problem solution okay so let's start today's question first question 2.98 says the proof that the perpendicular from the vertex of a triangle perpendicular from the vertex of a triangle uh, i think 2.98 okay 2.98 uh, perpendicular from the vertex of a triangle to the opposite side extended necessary meet a point perpendicular from the vertex of a triangle that's mean if i draw a triangle like that this is a triangle this is a triangle abc this is a b c okay so perpendicular from a like the d uh, actually <coughs> i want to draw that uh, ad is perpendicular to bc here ad i um, uh, draw ad to perpendicular to bc and be perpendicular to be perpendicular uh, nearly here i think perpendicular to e and be is perpendicular to ac if i draw this uh, line which consists from this point which is known as a, a o and this line this is, is f if we can prove that fc is perpendicular to ab then the three are concurrent okay or the meet in the uh, so need to prove that okay these two condition are given and these two condition okay to that so so we can say that a b o a so a d a d is nothing but the we can say this o a this uh, o taken as the origin o is the origin o taken as the origin so a o a dot this since these two are perpendicular then o a dot o a dot b c is nothing but zero so o a b c b c means o c minus o b b c means o c minus o b that will be zero so this can be written as a dot c vector minus b vector the position vector of this position vector of b this position vector is c and this position vector is a and o position vector o is zero okay so this will be nothing but a dot c minus a dot b equals to zero so a dot c is equal to a dot b similarly from b uh, is perpendicular to a b the b b is that means o b is perpendicular to a c o b means b vector and a c means c minus a vector which is zero so we can see b dot c minus b dot a which is nothing but zero so this is b dot c is equal to b dot a so from this equation one and two we can say that the uh, a dot c is nothing but b dot c so o c this is o c can be perpendicular to a b that means f c is perpendicular to a b so the perpendiculars from the vertex of a triangle opposite to the side is meet to a point that means they are concurrent so perpendiculars from vertex vertex are concurrent or vertex are concurrent okay clear <laughs> next question 2.99 prove the perpendicular bisector of the sides of a triangle uh, meet a point perpendicular bisector take this as a triangle abc uh, like that 
this is a this is b this is c perpendicular triangle uh, means uh, perpendicular bisector mane from this bisector draw a perpendicular from this bisector draw a perpendicular and from this bisector draw a perpendicular they meet a uh, single point take this is a o and this is d this is e and this is f okay so uh, take o as the origin uh, uh, and the o a vector so o a vector the position vector of a taken as a b o b vector taken as b vector position vector of b with respect to origin o o c vector is c vector okay so what will be the position or d vector what will be the o d vector so o d vector is nothing but the midpoint of bc so this can be written as b plus c by 2 similarly o e o e vector is nothing but a vector plus c vector by 2 a and c midpoint and o f vector this is o e vector and this o f vector is nothing but the midpoint of a b so this will be a vector plus b vector by 2 so you can say the a b vector a b vector is nothing but b minus a b vector minus a vector um, bc vector is nothing but c vector minus b vector and c a vector is nothing but a vector minus c vector now this o f is perpendicular to a b take o b o f is perpendicular to a b and o e is perpendicular to a c then we need to prove that o d is perpendicular to b c we take two uh, two o f and o e are perpendicular to the side and we need to prove the o d is perpendicular to this so uh, we can say that this o f is dot a b equals to zero put the value of o f and a b you get a plus b by 2 dot b minus a equals to 0 so you can say b square minus a square equals to 0 so you can say b, b square equal to a square similarly <coughs> o e is perpendicular to a c so you can say the o e dot a c is nothing but the 0 since the perpendicular dot product is 0 so this is a vector plus c vector by 2 dot c minus a equal to 0 so this is nothing but c square equal to c square from these two illustration we can say the b square equal to c square now we want to find out od dot bc so what is the value of od dot bc od is b plus c by 2 and bc is the c minus b this is nothing but the c square this is nothing but c square minus b square and since c and b is the so on so this is equal so this is 0 so od is perpendicular to bc so if we take these two are perpendicular and prove this one is perpendicular so this point is concurrent okay so hence this is the proof of this question next prove that a cross b dot c cross d equals to zero <coughs> okay so this can be used as the <coughs> can be written as the back cap this is the vector total vector a a dot b cross c a dot b cross c a dot b cross c that means a cross b dot c this can be <coughs> a dot b cross c this can be written as this can be written as a cross b cross c dot d okay so a cross b cross um, a this is total a this is b this is c so this can be changed d and cross b and these can be written as no, no. similarly <coughs> this can be written as the okay uh, okay I do this one this can be written as minus C cross A cross B right if we change the cross product there will be minus and this is uh, form into the back cap that is A C dot B minus B C dot A into D so this is nothing but the a dot d minus
this is nothing but the a dot d into b dot c plus b dot d into a dot c okay this two uh, comes from this and <coughs> from this uh, expression this is you can write down the other two terms uh, just analogically a b c d that means a is b b is c c is a and d is d if you write down like that you can put the other uh, terms for this this is term for first first expression okay so from uh, second and third we got the expression like that just analogy the first one you can do this one okay this is nothing but just analyze analogy with the first term write down this second and third term as well like that okay just put this value you get a dot d c dot b okay and <laughs> this can be since that these two are cancel out to each other that these two are in cancel out these two are so this uh, cancel out will be becomes to be zero next question let pqr the spherical triangular whose side is pqr of the arc of the great circle that's mean a three dimension this is the three dimension this is nothing but the three dimension sphere okay law of spherical model okay so from this relation we can say from this relation we can say a cross b a cross b means there will be a sine r the angle actually we know the angle is the angle is nothing but theta is s and this is r so theta is nothing but s by r here here r is 1 r is 1 so we can say theta is s and this spherical surface you can see in the spiral book the spherical sphere uh, spherical triangle spherical triangle can be draw uh, if i want to draw this triangle this is a sphere okay and this origin three vector a vector and this is b vector this is c vector and the point is r this point is q this point is p okay and this is the triangle this is the angles okay <clears throat> so uh, angle between a and b angle between a and b is the nothing but the r angle between a and b given as the r angle between q and r given as the p and this angle is given as the q okay so angle between a and c a and c is nothing but q this is sin q uh, similarly b dot c this is nothing but the angle between b and c angle between b and c is p so this will be written as cos p and angle between a and is 0 cos 0 is 1 similarly a dot c a and c angle is q this is cos q and b a b a angle is r so this is cos r so you can say this cos p is nothing but the uh, cos q cos p is nothing but cos q cos r plus sin q sin r very simple just draw this spherical <coughs> cell uh, simply process uh, and this pair can be written uh, given in the spiral book okay? r is the angle between uh, angle r is between a and b angle uh, p is between um, b and c and angle q is between angle q is between a and c go to the book spiral book you get this picture okay thank you uh, this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can contact with me by the whatsapp or telegram group for any query regarding physics and this is my youtube channel details if you are new in this video channel go to the please subscribe this channel and to get the notification for the upcoming video you must press the bell icon and share this video to the, your friends so that they can also benefit and like this session if you get benefit in from this video and stay with this channel take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible